uh, there's a regimental tradition that, uh, that we follow today at uh, the regimental birthday, the 21st of December. Uh, when we do the toast to the regiment, we do what they call the Ortona Toast. And this stems from an incident that occurred on the 60th anniversary of the regiment, the 21st of December, 1943. The regiment was in action uh, outside of the town of Ortona in Italy. And at one point, the acting brigade commander, who was the former commanding officer of the regiment, Brigadier Spy, came back to visit the regiment. And there was a certain number of other officers at the headquarters, Major Strom Galloway, Captain Sandy Mitchell, Captain Marty Upper, Lieutenant Walter Roy, uh, Captain Rusty Wilkes, the Padre, MC, and RSM Archie McDonnell, McDonnell. Uh, they uh, got together and uh, they added a little bit of rum. They added some water and some brown sugar and some chip china cups from the house that they were sheltered in. And they toasted the health of the regiment. Uh, in 1993, uh, there was a uh, motion passed by the Regimental Executive Committee that uh, from now on the regimental toast on the regimental birthday would be done in the same manner as that toast at Ortona. It was now known as the Ortona Toast. Uh, sometimes it's taken, uh, it's taken a little while for everyone to understand exactly what was going on. For some time, some people thought we were toasting the men at Ortona. But no, it's just the regiment, regimental toast, and it's the way that it's done. Sometimes there's a hard time finding the china cups, and you use plastic cups. Uh, in this day and age of well, if people don't drink, you don't tell them to drink alcohol. But as much as possible, if they are willing, uh, this is what we do now. And it, it harkens back to a day when the uh, regiment celebrated its anniversary under fire.